If you recall, one of the three different types of fingerprints is called a whorl fingerprint. And there's four different kinds of whorls, but we tend to focus on the two main ones, which are called a plain whorl and a central pocket whorl. These can be really confusing for anybody to recall the difference and be able to distinguish. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different pictures of whorl fingerprints, and we're going to talk about how you can tell the difference between a central pocket whorl and a plain whorl. So let's take a look first at this fingerprint right here. This is a whorl because we tend to see this circular pattern. And one of the things to note about whorls is that they have a core. You can see my purple marker here. And you can see the core is basically a bunch of concentric circles. And then whorl fingerprints also have two deltas. And if you remember, a delta is a triangular shape. So if you can tell with my pink marker, there is a delta, and here is the second delta. And so a whorl fingerprint will have a core somewhere near the middle and the two deltas that are on either side of the core. So the difference between a plain whorl and a central pocket whorl has to do with the proximity of these two deltas and all of these concentric circles that go around the core. So in this particular one, if I continue to follow these circles over and over again, you can see that they get pretty big. And the thing with this one is if I were to draw a line between the two deltas, not very straight, is it? <laughs> but if you notice, the line that I drew between the two deltas actually intersects the circles that come from the core, that radiate away from the core. That is how we know that this is a plain whorl. A central pocket whorl is a little bit different. So let me slide my paper over to show you a central pocket whorl. Let's take a look at this picture here. And again, let's identify the core. And if I draw some concentric circles around the core, you'll notice that after a while, these circles, these lines, the ridges, they're not actually going around anymore. Now they're trailing off of the fingerprint. So they don't really count as part of the core because they're no longer making a complete circle around the core. And that's gonna be a big difference. Again, let's look for the deltas. So there's a delta here, and there's a delta over here. This time, if I draw a line between these two deltas, you'll notice that my concentric circles around the core stopped before I got to that line between the deltas. That's how I know this is a central pocket whorl. I always kind of uh, think to myself the word central, obviously in the center, and that it doesn't interfere with the deltas, if you maybe want to think of it that way. Let's take a look at another picture. Um, let's look at this fingerprint down here. Let me find the delta. So there's easily a delta over here, and it looks like our delta triangle is right about here. It's kind of a funny one. All right, and then I'm gonna look for my core. My core is obviously here. If I kind of draw some of the circles that go around, I'm still going, but as you can see, this, this one right here that would be close to that delta is actually not going to be a concentric circle around the core. It's going to come off of the fingerprint. And so as a result, I'm gonna stop drawing my circles and draw a line between my two deltas, and we'll notice that it does not intersect any of the concentric circles around the core. So again, this one is also a central pocket whorl. One more fingerprint to show you. This one is rather blurry, I apologize. Um, but if we take a look at this, I can see a delta here, and I can see a delta here, even though they're pretty blurry. I'm gonna identify my core, and then really kind of look where the circles are, especially near the bottom. And if I look, I am still seeing circles that go all the way around the core as far out and past the line where the deltas would be. And so again, just like my very first fingerprint, we have another plain whorl.